Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Seconds Philosophy and Carnegie.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic and the rules of implication, those valid forms of argument we've been looking at, with one of the most famous ones out there called modus ponens. You may have seen I've done some videos that flirt around the idea of modus ponens. Here we're going to very explicitly explain what it is. So, examples of modus ponens arguments are, if Hercules burns the stump of a hydra's head, it will not grow back. Hercules burned the stumps of the Hydra's heads, therefore the Hydra's heads did not grow back. If Boris and Natasha attempt to steal national secrets, they will be thwarted by Rocky and Bullwinkle. Boris and Natasha will attempt to steal national secrets, therefore Boris and Natasha will be thwarted by Rocky and Bullwinkle. This is basically explaining the way an implication works. We take a normal implication statement, we fulfill the first half of it, so the second half of it must be fulfilled. Let's take a look at how this looks in terms of truth tables. So, P implies Q, P, therefore, Q. We fill in truth tables under these. We take a look at the central, most important columns of each of the two premises, as well as the conclusion, and we discover that in the only case in which the two premises are true, the conclusion is also true. So, this is a valid form of argument. That was modus ponens, we represent that with MP. Next up is modus tollens, as well as many other rules of implication and replacement. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.